Well, tonight, Governor Greg Abbott taking new measures to stop drugs from crossing our borders in response to the growing fentanyl epidemic. Classifying cartels as terrorists, there has been a reported 89% increase in fentanyl related deaths here in Texas. Our Bill Churchill has a look at the issue and the impact being seen in the coastal bend. He joins us now with that report. Bill? Fentanyl is something that has been around for a while, described as a very strong pain medicine that is about 50 to 100 times more addictive and stronger than morphine. Something that is now being trafficked by cartels, made to look like pills, even candy. But it also comes with deadly consequences. The cocaine of the 80s. Right, it's the, the new epidemic that we're seeing. Special Investigator Mike Temez is in charge of the DA's criminal interdiction unit. The unit patrols Highway 77 in an effort to stop illegal cartel smuggling. He says fentanyl is popping up on their radar more and more. And I'll just give you an idea of how much fentanyl we're having. Uh, I recently helped out the uh, port of entry in Roma with an 18 wheeler they had. Uh, Long story short, when they searched it, there was 55 kilos of fentanyl inside that. But the biggest concern, he says, is that this deadly drug is already here. And a lot, a lot of overdose deaths um, in Corpus Christi uh, that all were occurred because of fentanyl. Um, and most of the time, uh, these people didn't even know that there was fentanyl in the drugs. That's because he says the cartels are also using it to cut other drugs like cocaine and heroin. In fact, he says the vast majority of overdose deaths in Corpus Christi are all a result of fentanyl. Its addictive nature means big bucks for cartels. At 25000 a kilo, that's how much they're paying per kilo right now. As it goes further north, it increases up to 40000 around the Houston area. I have issued this executive order designating cartels as terrorists in Texas. Strong words from Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who is calling the increase of overdose deaths a crisis. Uh, people have been, of all ages, have been using more uh, opioid products, being bought off the street. Uh, we're still seeing uh, elderly patients uh, buying heroin, people 60, 70 years old, of age. Dr. John Lucens is the medical director at Corpus Christi Medical Center Bayview. It's so strong that they uh, are coming in before, you know, before they even know. I mean, they're coming in to get off heroin, but they're having overdoses that happen in the emergency department or else out in the, the police and the EMS. His message? Get off of opiates, and there's multiple ways. Uh, it's very difficult, but the withdrawal won't kill you. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. All right, Bill, thanks for that report.